statistics um, as a discipline that serves to um, assist uh, other disciplines have a better understanding of the real world. And I find that a very sort of noble objective and also for my own intellectual curiosity. There's lots of things about uh, the real world out there that, that I, I don't fully understand yet, but I now have these statistical tools that for whichever um, uh, avenue I decide to pursue, I could have a better understanding of, of the world around us. My experience at LSE um, was one that I really enjoyed and the favourite thing about it for me was the people. Um, there were people all over the world from different countries, different economies, different regulation backgrounds. So when we were studying something quite practical like actuarial science, it was good to get different perspectives and just to see how those disciplines would be applied in different, different parts of the world. My favourite thing as a statistics student would be the style of lecturing offered by a variety of lecturers across the stats department. A style which I'd characterise as highly enthusiastic, very intuitive, and as a result of that, very, very appealing and enjoyable. There's two things. There's one uh, fellow student who I met, um, and he, he's still a very good friend of mine. He also works in the city, and he's, he turned into one of my best friends. So that's as simple as that. And the other was uh, is the experience with my supervisor, my second supervisor during my PhD, who uh, was tremendously helpful and uh, a fantastic personality. I'm working for a Lloyds of London managing agent. The LSE degree has been hugely helpful because I'm in an actuarial role at present. My undergraduate was actuarial scientist. When I graduated from LSE, um, I went to work at MRSA, which is a human resources consultancy, um, and I worked with pension scheme trustees to help them understand the nature of their financial liabilities. So I really applied a lot of my statistical knowledge that I learned in the actuarial science degree. I left five years ago, and since then I've been working in algorithmic trading, three years for an investment bank and two years for a hedge fund. The content presented during the LSE Masters, this being a social sciences, institution with an emphasis on finance. Much of the content had a financial spin and that's allowed me to understand concepts much faster. Over time I moved more towards the investment side of things um, and actually learned to apply statistics in financial and stochastic modelling. Um, and that led me to become an investment consultant when I qualified as an actuary. As I've remained in uh, academia, uh, the um, subject matter I learned as both an undergraduate, a master's and additional uh, statistical skills that I developed during my PhD, I integrate that heavily uh, in my teaching. A lot of the, the knowledge, the very basic knowledge which sinks in over the years that I've learned here and that I've picked up. So in statistics, for instance, things like the bias variance trade-off, that is something that comes up in, in my everyday work. The practical skills which LSE attempts to teach its students, particularly in the stats department, have also come in handy. My top tip for anyone who's going to study in the statistics department is to remember that statistics is all around us and it's important to learn how to apply what you learn in the real world. That's the key to success at LSE, I would say. So have a really good sound knowledge of the theory and then learn how to apply it in, in a real world context because that will come up in exams as well and will last you well into your career. If it's doing the masters, it's an intense year. It's nine months and I remember I had to put in quite a lot of work right from the beginning so you can't wait and leave it to the last minute and I remember that another good friend of, I, of mine and I, we stayed over the Christmas period and just worked our papers, you know, and did the exam preparations and everything, so you have to start early. Any student coming here, be it for an uh, undergraduate program, masters or PhD, uh, it's, uh, you want to make the most of all opportunities here and I strongly encourage uh, any prospective student that if they do uh, enrol here to fully immerse themselves in the life of both the department and the school more widely. Uh, go to the, the public lecture series, also the academic seminars, even if it's an undergraduate student who is perhaps considering undertaking some uh, research longer term, you make use of the, the top name professors that come here and they disseminate their, their cutting edge research and who knows what sorts of uh, inspirations uh, that could uh, inspire in, in, the, uh, in undergraduate students. Mm -hmm.